and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be doing a lineup update, going over all the new ads at every position because you guys have been commenting for quite a while. Poodle, when are you going to get your team up? When are you going to buy players? When are you going to spend coins? You've been at 93 for too long. So I finally upgraded the team. I spent a few million coins. And it might not look like it because I only had a million at one point, but I spent. And as I spent, I was selling and then buying and selling and buying. So I slowly sold off a lot of my binder, got my coins stack up, sold a bunch of stuff. So, guys. We're gonna go over the team, you know how I like to do these, go to the binder, go one by one by each player, kind of explain to you guys why I have these players, if they're end game or not, what's my thinking. This really helps, trust me guys, to stay to the end and watch this whole video because as I go through position, it'll give you guys my thought process on certain positions and you guys always say to me like, how do I know who's end game here? How do I know who should I pick up here? I'm gonna give you guys my thought process on every position, why I have certain guys and why I play the way I do. And afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys all the cams and everything on them. So stay tuned for all that guys. If you're already new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys, come join the family. We're growing a little bit slower now, but we're still 600 away. We're pretty close at the end of the day. Let's make it happen as soon as possible. If you're new, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what, let me know, let me know how much better your team or how much worse your team is than mine. I always like hearing what the, I, I really don't know. Like you guys are saying, what's the overall right now? If you're no money spent, I'm imagining if you're a no money spent guy, you're trading, we're between like a 92 and a 95 at this point in the game. That's if you start at the beginning. So it's really, it's, I want to kind of see where you guys are at right now. And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 200 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated. Noted gang, gotta always go strong. So helps the channel grow. Now let's head it over to the binder and go one by one, check out all the players. Alright, so going into quarterback, we have quite a few here. We have Mahomes, Murray, Lamar, Peyton, Vic. A lot of high overall quarterbacks here now. Who's the end game quarterback on this list? I'll get to that in a second, but Patrick Mahomes, right? Why do I have Patrick Mahomes? He's 99 overall. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like Patrick Mahomes isn't as fun. At, at first I thought I was at first I was like, he's horrible. I can't stand the speed. He's not fun to play with. After like four games getting used to him, guys, I became really good again. I was averaging like 300 to 400 passing yards per game. I wasn't even running the ball at all with Bo Jackson. I was actually passing and just dotting up people all game, throwing bombs, doing a lot of stuff. And I actually became better. I was undefeated in a weekend league for quite a while going through that. I think, you know what's funny? Mahomes, getting a pocket pass like Mahomes makes you play better because you don't focus on running the ball so much. And you actually kind of throw, you kind of throw people off a little bit. But I'm just straight passing. I think like they're in a run coverage. I'm, at, I'm passing the ball. But, is he my endgame quarterback? I'm not entirely sure. Guys, the stats are absolutely insane. If you haven't tried him out yet, you definitely should. But, I think my endgame quarterback might end up being Michael Vick when the next Ultimate Legend card comes out. Because he should be, not the same passer as Mahomes, but he'll be a, a lot closer than you guys think. As well as having, like, a 97 speed. Well, actually, Kemp up and everything, probably a 99 speed. It really depends on what price Lamar goes down to in Vick. But for now, if I have to end the game with Mahomes, I have no problem doing so. He's honestly amazing. Now, coming up to running back... I'm sick and tired of Bo, guys. I really am. I really want a new running back. I really don't enjoy playing with Bo. I really don't think he's all that great, to be honest. I don't know. He does not He does not play as well as, like, my Barry did or my Saquon did or my Green did or my Marcus. Like, everyone I feel like played better for me. Bo sh should play better, but he doesn't. For me, at least, right? It all depends on, I guess, how you play. My endgame running back, personally. Still, though, at the end of the day, gonna be an Ultimate Legend Bo, an Ultimate Legend Dickerson, an Ultimate Legend Barry, Ultimate Legend, uh, Ladanian Thompson or some kind of new Saquon Barkley card. But for the time being, this is what we're rocking with, guys. He's super amazing. He's 98 speed on my team. Fullback, we need to upgrade this real bad. So far, our new pickups, guys, since our last lineup update. I don't know if you guys saw Bo. You should have known I had him. But Mahomes, Corey Schlesinger, we've had this guy since, like, the third or fourth week of Madden. we really got to get rid of this guy. I got him August 28th, but he was free, and it's kind of hard to just, like, use anyone else over him. So we, we added Tyreek Kill to the team, which you guys probably have not seen yet. 99 speed. Absolute monster. Torrey Holt, upgraded him all the way up absolute monster and then calvin johnson one of the best receivers i think i've ever used in madden before 98 speed 98 catch in traffic 97 spec catch six foot five 98 jumping this card just he's, he's a playmaker so that's as simple as that tight end we've added a brand new one although you guys i don't know if you guys have seen it tony gonzalez now who's my end game tight end i either want to pick up the new kittle or wait for another ultimate legend type tight end like tony gonzalez because tony gonzalez is a monster i just wish his um his run block was a little better that's kind of what i have kittle for now let's go over to the lineman. I did pick up 98 overall Walter Jones. End game left tackle, guys. I highly recommend you pick him up. Oh, and by the way, for my wide receivers, the way I have those guys, the way they are, those three right there. I have my, my small speedy guy, which is Tyreek. I have my route running extraordinaire, which is Tory Holt. And then I have my do-it-all godlike receiver, which is usually like a Randy Moss or Calvin. That's how I like to run there. Left tackle, guys. Walter Jones is end game. You power him up also on top of this. Most of the stats will be high 98s. 
99s. Definitely saw a pickup. Left guard, I definitely have to make an upgrade at. I gotta get rid of old Bruce Matthews, but I'm waiting to pick up the right guy. And center, another guy, one I need to make an upgrade at. I was waiting to see if we got a new Frederick, but I don't think we're gonna be getting one. Or maybe we have, but I don't know if we've gotten a better one than, have we? No, we have not, right? Okay, that's what I thought. But maybe I'll pick up just one of the new Ultimate Legend centers and they do drop one, like I kept him away. Right guard, simple choice. I think he's honestly end game. Zach Martin has amazing stats. You power him up. He comes close to like 97 everything if you power him up too and then toss him on the team with like John Madden rushing. Kind of beastly guys. I think I can honestly rock the rest of the year with him. And then right tackle, I definitely need a new a new card. Whether it be a new Lane Johnson or just an ultimate legend. You can blatantly see him just getting beat all the time and it really sucks. Left end, Michael Strand right now. He's still honestly really good, but I don't want Michael Strand. I really want from my end game left end. I want Calais Campbell or Julius Peppers. But I'm going to have to make some more coins first before I do so. Now if you have to pick one, probably Peppers. I, I like Calais because you get the NFL Honors card for free technically. But Peppers is still solid. Strahan's still amazing right now. And he might get an ultimate legend. So he honestly could hold on to him if you really wanted to. It really just comes down all to what you kind of like. Right end, Aaron Donald. Set it and forget it. Get Aaron Donald fully powered up and you're done for the year. Look at these stats. 99 power move. 98 strength. 97 finesse move. 96 play rec. 97 clock shit. 87 speed. 94 excel. This card's an absolute monster. Defensive tackle. I have Geno Atkins right now because he was free from my um, team of the year solos. But if you guys wanted anything else, what I'm thinking about getting soon... I definitely want to pick up Warren Sapp or me and Joe Green when the new one does drop at some point, hopefully. Or Alan Page. Those are the three. Any three of those are probably cut it. Warren Sapp's really amazing, but he did just come out, so I don't want to go overkill and pick up every Ultimate Legend that just came out. I'm going to be broke for a while. Left us on back, guys. I've had Von Miller since literally like the opening day of this game. August 17th. I really have to get rid of this guy. Left outside linebacker that I'm looking for right now. It's just a nice zone. Legend linebacker. That's fast, can block shit in his zone. That's all I want. We have not gotten that yet. So until that day comes, we'll be rocking with Lord, um, LeVon Miller. In the linebacker, we have Shazier and Devin Bush. Preferably the women end this year is with Shazier, obviously. As well as the next middle linebacker I'll probably end up getting to end the game with since Devin Bush is probably done getting upgrades at this point. I will probably end up with like another Ray Lewis. Maybe a Willis, but Ray Lewis is looking pretty likely. Maybe Brian or Locker. But I'm thinking Ray, I'm thinking Ray Lewis because he'll get the next turn to be pretty solid. Right side linebacker. Lawrence Taylor is going to be the rest of the year. He's absolutely insane. His next card is going to be even glitchier. His next card should get all 99 pass rushing abilities or 99 pass rushing moves with like 97, 96 block shed. His speed's going to be crazy. His speed's going to almost be close to like 98 with uh, Kems. Cornerback. Cornerbacks. My cornerbacks are solid now. We got Night Train Lane, Mel Blunt, Deion Sanders, Denzel Ward. So the move right now is to get the new Deion Sanders when it comes out. The new um, NFL, not NFL 100. The new Ultimate Legend, Deion Sanders. Call it a game, call it a game there. He's going to have 99 everything. Then... Next, upgrade Night Train Lane to his max card. I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford it, but that's kind of the goal here. And then for my third cornerback, probably like get a Champ Bailey or just rock with Mel Blunt for now because he's honestly pretty solid. He's just a third cornerback too. Free safety, I think I'm I think I'm done here. I think Sean Taylor might be my free safety for the rest of the year. This card is super, super solid. I'm not going to, guys, how can you beat 96 speed, 96 excel, 95 zone, 96 hit power, 6 foot 2 uh, height? How do you beat that? He's literally an endgame card. He's almost as fast as you can get. He's almost as quick as you can get. And he almost hits as hard as you can get in zones as well as you can get. So, I think he's endgame in my opinion. If they come out with another card, fine. If they don't, I'll still rock with him because he's that good. And then strong safety, guys. This is the greatest. The greatest defensive player I think I've ever bought in Madden Ultimate Team. Troy Palomalu, guys. They must pick up. I'm telling you, he's different. 97 speed. 99 excel. 93 tackle. 98 play rec. 96 pursuit. 85 man, 97 zone coverage, and 93 hit power. You guys thought Pat Tillman was good before? Just look, look at what this guy looks like. He's plus 5 speed, plus 10 XL, less tackling. Player X almost similar. He has got to get the chem boost. Pursuits less. Man coverage is plus 7. Zone is plus 7. Hit power is close. He's just like, it's like take Ed Reed and take like Cam Chancellor and put them in the same body. I, I like the cam chant like it's just it's unreal how Troy's Troy plays I have a lot of video clips of him I might post him on Twitter one of these days he makes diving interceptions like it's nothing Justin Tucker we still got I want to upgrade him to um Zane Gonzalez I don't really gotta say much more about that I say my punter we really desperately need a new punter we have 82 Treyway that we still have from the literal July we've had this guy since July I pulled him in like a pack like it was a solo challenge pack now let's head over to the team real quick and show you guys the overall look here got some of the chems I kind of rock so, if you guys are wondering how I get these guys up in overall, I know a lot of you guys always ask, like, how do your overalls up? These are the ones I use. I use West Coast 3030, Pass Rush 3030, Lockdown 3030. I'm two off zone run right now. I use Sprinter, Madden Passing Times 2. I have Madden Rushing, almost only one of them. And that's really it. And I did use Shaker, but I did change it up. And then this is the team over here. 
my biggest hope my biggest weakness is obviously here our left outside linebacker and maybe my defensive line a little bit i can upgrade a little bit in the middle spots but not really bad really just my the outside linebackers outside linebacker and here it's it's obviously my old line i need a new left guard new center new right tackle and then i'm good to go and then my team's absolutely stacked and then i can go um, compete i mean like i said in weekly league i was undefeated for a while i just never finished it i never got to finish it because it was ready sunday so i, I ended up going like i think i went like 10 and 2 i, I was undefeated but I was, I was rushing some games i could have easily won like maybe 20 wins that week well this last week but i kind of i didn't finish there I, I started way too late but guys that's about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you're into the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that only bell come join the family guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get this video to 200 likes Comment down below if you guys have any questions about your team. If you guys have any other questions about your team, make sure to DM me pictures on uh, Twitter of your team lineup. I'll help you guys out as you guys do need. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to 20k as quickly as possible, guys. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.